change is on the horizon in Minneapolis and across the state of Minnesota. The energy sources that fuel electricity here could look a lot different. The state's governor set a goal of 100% carbon-free electricity by 2040. That's electricity that does not use fossil fuels, but harnesses clean energy from nuclear energy and renewable sources such as wind and solar, which don't pollute our air. Yes, it is a green state and we are a progressive state. If the panels are 40 inches each, how long do the rails have to be? And that's exciting news for Scott Randall, the faculty lead for the Solar and Renewable Energy Program at Century College. It's a community and technical college that's just a stone's throw away from Minneapolis-St. Paul in White Bear Lake, a small town basking in nature's beauty and perched on the edge of a glistening body of water. And as natural resources take center stage in the battle against climate change and global warming worldwide, the U.S. Department of Energy reports clean energy jobs here are accelerating in every state. It attributes some of the growth to new investment in green jobs through the Inflation Reduction Act, which President Biden signed into law in 2022. The demand for solar is going crazy. We have contractors coming in and ask for our students all the time, and I can't supply enough students in order to meet their needs. Let's all grab our safety glasses and helmets. Randall, who has owned and operated a solar energy company, brings first-hand knowledge to students learning about solar energy and other renewable energy jobs. As part of student studies, they get hands-on training in one of their classrooms, where they have a makeshift roof on the floor. Here, they learn how to install solar panels. I like all of it. I like learning. I like the fact that it's clean energy. I like installing. I like working outside. I think it's all great. I hadn't even used a drill before I got in this class, and now I know how to do everything. It makes me feel very proud of myself. Very proud. Nicholas Gore is one of the Century College students getting a certificate to become a solar installer, but he also has long-term dreams for this green energy career. Well, what I see myself doing realistically would be working for a company for four to eight years, and then what I would like to do is start my own solar paneling business. And Nicholas is part of a younger generation that studies show has greater concerns about the impact of climate change on our planet and their future. Well, I think that uh, clean energy is really important to the world right now, especially with all the coal plants and all the pollutants being released into the atmosphere. I feel like solar would be a good way to go. It's a good way to make money. Nicholas also likes the affordability of going to a community and technical college instead of paying for a four-year degree. The reason I worked two years before I even decided to go to school was because I was afraid I wouldn't be able to afford it. But then I got here and I was like, oh, this, I can afford this all day. We have corporations and private individuals that are funding and providing scholarships. We just received two $100,000 scholarships from Target. Um, and everybody believes in what we're doing and, and wants to, to help us bring the students into the industry. Andy Lohr is returning for a visit to Century College after finishing a solar assessor certification here. Hey, Scott. Hey, Andy, how you doing? Pretty good. He originally considered a four-year electrical engineering degree, but had doubts about that career track and the debt. So today, Andy spends time up on a roof as a solar installer around the Minneapolis area, just like this group of installers. I would say it's hard work, but it's fairly simple, and it's you just got to be comfortable with being on the roofs and all that stuff and carrying heavy stuff up. But Andy is also excited about a higher paying growth track in his green career. What intrigued me was the fact that uh, after I like, I could be an installer and then after four years, I could take my journeyman's test to be an electrician. I was like, oh, that's actually pretty interesting. I didn't know, I thought you had to go to like a trade school and go through all that. 
Scott Randall says the solar and renewable energy certifications at Century College can range from four months to two years, and pay for some starts at around $22 to $30 an hour within their first few years. But those who get four years of job experience and pass the journeyman's exam to become a licensed electrician in the Minneapolis-St. Paul area can see a bigger payoff. Within four years, they work up to a salary that's equivalent to eighty dollars to $100,000 a year, and they can even get well over that at the year after that. And even higher, he says, if they pass a master's exam as an electrician. And that, without any other education, puts them over $100,000 a year, which is a fantastic opportunity. But Randall says the majority of students who come to Century College for his program also see a payoff in helping the planet. Most of the students come in because they have a passion for the environment. About 90% of the students fall into that category. Some days I, I sit down and I think about it. I'm like, hey, one day, if we don't stop what we're doing now, eventually it could lead to more issues like running out of oil and how it damages the earth. And eventually it will start building up, building up, building up. And I worry about um, my brothers and my siblings and my future kids and stuff like that and how they're gonna have to deal with that too. Helping his students have an impact on the environment and our Earth's future, sharing those and other values with them, resonates deeply with Scott Randall. That's why I do what I do. Um, I'm, I'm able to help the students become what they wanna be in order to change the world. It's a mission so critical to Randall that emotion overcomes him when he tries to talk about it. Because that's how I can make a difference. And Scott Randall says changing the world happens, including confronting climate change, one person at a time. <laughs>